Hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 here with another tutorial, and this time we're going over uh, audio and sync. So basically, we're going over little tips that help keep the audio in sync no matter what you do and how to fix it. And we're also going over some other little tools uh, that help and are considered uh, sync savers because they help save your sync, obviously. But, um,. We're going to use everything from replace edit buttons to locators to add edit points all the way to sync point editing. So if you've never used any of these tools before, they're available to you in Avid Media Composer and they've always uh, been there, I think. But uh, all right, let's give it a shot, though. And uh, of course, like all my other videos, if you haven't seen them, I recommend you uh, go watch them right away because they're really awesome. And... Uh, They've got lots of stuff to teach you, and I've been working pretty hard on them. So, uh, like all my videos, I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user. I'm an Avid Media Composer certified user. But just because I'm certified as a user doesn't mean that I'm a certified instructor. So, I'm not a certified instructor in either Final Cut or Media Composer. And basically, I'm just doing this um, for you guys' benefit so that you guys can learn as much as possible. I know it was really difficult for me when I first started out doing all this stuff, so I hope I'm helping everyone. Now let's get started here. Okay, now this has happened to a lot of us where we uh, switch up the pan uh, option in, in your audio tracks. I'm just going to highlight all of them right now. And uh, yeah, you set up your pan and maybe something's not quite right, but you don't want to, you know, look silly in front of a producer. 